I found out about the CEBL through my junior national team coach at the time. He told me about this league before it was up and running. And he was like, yeah, you know, if you play in the CEBL, you could build your brand. You know, you could not only build your brand in Ontario, but you could spread it and build it in like other places. In the second year, you know, COVID hit and then, uh, you know, the bubble happened and I got to play for Fraser Valley in, in St. Catharines. You know, I had a great time. I got to reach the finals and I missed out on, missed out on that trophy, you know, my first year playing in it last year, but it was a really great experience. Kind of different situation here, more younger guys to, you know, take under my wing and teach them, like, you know, the ropes of how to be a pro and how to be respectful and how to approach the game. So, you know, more of a veteran role on, on this team and, you know, it's been great so far. Kadugan, I just want to know what room I'm in. 513? All right, thank you. LA. What's good? The good. Got the camera in this drink. Hmm? Got the camera in the drink. Yeah. My young boy, Elaine Louis. Mm -hmm. All right, buddy, I'm gonna go get some lunch real quick. I'll hit you. Can I get the, what's the hottest sauce? The hot sauce, we just said it's just hot. Uh, the hottest? Yeah. Do you like hot shit? Hot? Yeah. yeah. So like, said, like hot. The sauce got? I said, oh. Fam, hot. I gave Elaine some of my uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> it was trash Yo, sweat, bro. bro. Fam, guess where I started the hot stuff? Atlanta, fam. The hot wings. That's when I started eating hot food. Growing up in Jaden Finch was tough, man. Heavy in the house, I, I hear gunshots, I hear sirens. You know, one day, my friends were over, my coach was over, and then randomly we heard gunshots. You know, my first reaction was to, uh, you know, run into the house to see if everyone's okay, but like, my little brother was outside. While we ran inside, my coach had came inside, he had my little brother in his hand, and he rolled his arms over. My little brother was leaking, man, he got hit five times at four years old, my coach got hit, my next door neighbor got hit, my brother's girlfriend got hit, you know what I mean? And that was like a traumatic, you know, situation for me, you know? And uh, like, after that happened, me and my AU coach, Ro Russell, was like, it's time to go. Like, you know what I mean? You don't need to be in this environment. You got all this talent, you have all this potential, like you gotta go. I eventually, you know, left. Like, I didn't wanna leave, but I had to, you know? I eventually left and, you know, people don't know this, but like, when I got over there, I was going through like all kind of depression, all of that stuff while dealing with all this hype. Like when I first got over there, that was like top 10 in the country. And I have to go and do this Slam Magazine article, interview, photo shoot, you know, while me, I'm still traumatized from my little brother getting shot. Like, you know what I mean? A couple of weeks before that. Like if you look at the pictures, like I'm depressed, like I'm, I'm not smiling in the pictures. Like, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm happy inside, but I can't really like, you know, get it out because like I went through that, that, that traumatic situation. Like my bro Olu Ashu, man, he's, he, he's my dog cause he had my back. He kept me sane, you know what I mean? He made sure that I didn't go back home and you know, we rode out the journey together, man. The limelight was on me and it was Jane and Finch. I didn't know if they tried to take me out or whatever, but I'm still here, I'm still surviving, I'm still hooping. So they can't can't take that away from me, you know what I'm saying? Youth's coming sooner. Not for now? Mm. Why are you saying it this way, bro? Yeah. You gotta get, you gotta build up first. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel you. It's beautiful, man. Yeah. The only the first three months is rough, but <laughs> <laughs> after the first three months, yeah. it's good money. Man, since having my first girl, my Asia, um, like that just brought like a joy in my heart. Like I felt like you know. Me being a father makes me forget about like the past and stuff like that because you know I have seeds to take care of, you know. So like when I had my daughter, 
like things changed. My my career, my career changed. My my style of play changed. Like everything's changed. It's like from since I had my daughter, everything's been good. You know. And then now I had a blessing to have a son that's turning one Mateo. It's and it's loving, man. Like like I said, my kids bring that joy to me, and uh, now I'm fueled by by joy and and that passion to provide for them. You know what I mean? But it's more like a happier, happier fuel now. You know? Taking on Johnson up top. Kadugan, little runner gets it. He was just unbelievable in this contest. Not scared of the moment. Never scared of the moment. And emotional to boot. Carl English said that he brings a lot of energy. He's bringing energy to his team in this crowd here. Big win for Ottawa. It makes me forget about the past and what I've been through. It's like, it's, it's like I'm moving on now as a father.